how to replace ear hook on Power Beats 3 wireless in ear headphones. Brought to you by CentralSound.co. Here we have a Power Beats 3 wireless in ear headphones. The left side has a broken ear hook. First thing you do is apply heat all the way around. I have the heat set at 130 degrees. I keep the heat gun moving around. If you hold it in one place for too long, it could melt the plastic. Once the glue is weakened from the heat, you can pry the cover upwards. There is a small antenna inside. It's kind of like a sticker, and it could be stuck to the cover. So when you're prying up, be very careful. On this demonstration, it is stuck to the cover. So what I'm going to do is apply a, a little more heat. Then after applying heat, you can use a small flathead screwdriver to pry downward to make sure it doesn't stick to the cover when removing it. Now you can see the antenna is not stuck to the cover. Now you can apply some more heat if need be. And then you can pry it upwards. It should come loose. Remove any excess glue that you can. Now there's a small antenna stuck to this black plastic cover piece that's covering the motherboard. Now you need to pry up that plastic sticker antenna. I'm using a flathead screwdriver here. Just need to be very careful. As you can see it's starting to come up. Just keep gently prying upward. Make sure you do not pry up the plastic piece it's stuck to. Keep that piece down and pry upward to get the sticker antenna off. Be very careful and remove it gently. Peel it back, do not peel too hard. This is a very fragile part. Once that's peeled back, there's a black plastic cover piece covering the motherboard. There's also a button right here slides right out. That will need to be removed. Now I have a flathead screwdriver here. You stick it in this small crevice right by the charge port to pry upward, it should come loose. In this case, it's still stuck, I believe, with some adhesive. So I will apply more heat to loosen it up. Not much, just a little bit.
Now it's removed. You can set that aside. That's the motherboard. Need to be very careful with that. There's two points where it's glued in. One is here, and the other is here. So I'm going to apply heat in those areas. Not a lot of heat, just a little bit. Keep it moving so it doesn't melt or burn anything. After applying heat, you can use a small flathead screwdriver and you insert it very gently into the port area. There's a black plastic piece in there and you just push upward to push the board up to loosen it. Once that's pushed up and loosened, there's a small little crevice in this area right here. It's a safe place to pull the board upward. So once that's loose, you can gently remove it. Be very gentle. There's small wires inside and they can tear apart easily. Now there's a small screw in the area where the ear hook inserts into. What we're going to do is remove that screw. Small Phillips screwdriver would be fine. Once the screw is removed, you can remove any plastic debris that might be in the way. In this case, there's a small plastic sliver left over from the old ear hook and needs to be removed. Here's a brand new replacement ear hook for the Power Beats 3. We sell these replacement ear hooks at centralsound.co. There's a link in the description. Next step would be to gently insert it right into this area. Make sure the holes line up correctly. Make sure it's pushed in there. There may be some pieces of glue still stuck in there. You might need to get out of the way. As you can see, the holes are lined up. Now I'm going to insert the screw. Now I'm going to scrape away any excess glue around this area here, all the way around. Then place the motherboard back inside. And then put the plastic cover piece over it. Just like this. Next step would be to insert the button. As you can see, there's the area the button goes into. And it just slides in. Make sure it's lined up and nice and flush. 
Next step would be to stick the antenna back on the plastic black piece. Take away any excess glue around the edges that you can find. Now that the adhesive's cleared away, I can apply some super glue. Be very careful not to apply any glue around the button and port area. You just wanna put just a small bit, just so you can see it on the plastic. Next, you place the cover back on. Make sure everything's flush. You would squeeze it and hold it together. It dries fairly quickly. Apply pressure all the way around and hold it. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Once again, we do sell these replacement parts at centralsound.co. You can buy yourself a new replacement ear hook. We also have a video for the right ear hook.